All right, so we're going to take a little bit of break from math stuff and introduce you to a game that I actually don't know if I came up with it, but I played a lot of it when I was actually in Algebra 2. And what it's called? It's called Circle Tic Tac Toe. So what I have behind me is four concentric circles. And actually, the only time in the world I can draw circles is when I'm actually drawing this game. So four concentric circles, and then we have divided up into quarters and then quarters again. So we actually have eight segments, four concentric circles. And the object of the game is to basically get four in a row, similar to tic-tac-toe. And how you do that is you either get a pie slice, so four in a row in a pie, you can't go through the center, four in a row in a concentric circle, sort of, sort of in the same circle area, so it could do one, two, three, four, or the hard one to see is four in a row on a diagonal. So you can connect by a corner, sort of go here, connect by a corner to here, connect by the same corner to this, and to that. The diagonal one is the hardest one to see, okay? So basically those are the three ways you play, and I like it because it's a little bit more challenging than normal tic-tac-toe, where if you learn the game, you just, it's a cat's game every time. In playing this, in all the years I played it, I've only had a couple ties. So what we're gonna do is bring out our lovely assistant, Allison, who is frequently behind the scenes. If you can get a great shot of her pants, they're really quite amazing. Okay, nice PJs at work. And we're just going to do a brief demo, okay? I'll warn you that I have actually one of the most unbeatable strategies for this game, but because of, you know, poor Allison, I'm going to tone it down a notch. So, start it off. Let's do it. Interesting strategy. <laughs> hmm, this game is going to be a little bit longer than anticipated. Where should I go? And right now, if you do the right move, there you go. And so if you notice, she actually has three in a row, and either side isn't blocked, so she can win right now. I can't block this side and this side. So unless I can win right now, I actually have lost the game. And my only three in a row chance was this one right here, which I gave up to go over here for some unknown reason. So I'm just going to go here to make myself feel good that if I had another move, I would win. But she goes ahead and wins the game. So there you go, circle tic-tac-toe. It's a little bit more of a brainiac version of normal tic-tac-toe, a little bit more strategy involved, but I would say even more fun. Enjoy.